So today, guys, we got a concrete truck coming. We're going to do the second half of our patio pour at the barn. So stick around. Well, we're ready for concrete today for the second pour. We all got this half done. And it came out fairly decent. Oh, it was really sunny, so it set up pretty quick. Now. Today is sunny, cold. What is it, about 40? And windy as heck. The wind's blowing like mad. So, so we got this big channel down here we got to fill. It's going to go on top of that old stone wall. Just going to fill that up with concrete. So that would make a, about a foot by foot beam. And then it slopes up and it's going to come to a five and a half inch thick from there. Nice. I'm gonna go down and take a look, see what's going on down there. But is it too late? Mark, I have to take a picture. Don't be to believe you're working this hard. <laughs> That slump's beautiful. A little scary because there's some little plops dropping out. There's a crack. It's it's it, it's jamming it shut down. Now it's gonna go way down here. It's gonna fill down in here. Wow. Yeah, it's a little nerve-wracking when this stuff goes on like this, but. Looks like everything's strong, so probably ought to wrap the form a little bit just to knock some bubbles out. Good enough. I'm gonna let it set. A couple little pieces fell, but I think we're good. <laughs> it choked up, you know, before it uh, got too carried away. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, this is holding up, so we're happy about that. I smacked the forms a little bit down there, but not much, because I'm scared. <laughs> it scared me a little. Okay, we're gonna get going a screed pretty soon.
Ooh, the wind's blowing. We're getting there. We got this all screeded out. Sorry about the shadow. I cleaned up that edge a little with the mag. I don't know if I did a good job or not, to be honest, but it'll have to do. I gotta fill that up with concrete, finish off the screed. Luckily, we got a good truck operator. That makes all the difference, too, because he's just putting it where we need it. Con, you want to you want to screed it out that far? Or you want to just let him fill it out? Might as well fill it out, right? All right. and it always pays to have an extra form laying around so you can use up the extra and not give it back for nothing <laughs> right mark absolutely yeah we paid for it might, well, might as well keep it if we can so just have this form here we're going to set this old uh outhouse on it of course it won't be usable now the outhouse won't be usable with concrete under it mark oh, no. yeah i know it's didn't a think of that. didn't think of that oh, <laughs> okay <laughs> see how connor's making out all right, so he's got the bull float. He had the bull float out on it. That looks about as good as it can get, Connor. Looking good. So he's getting a preliminary press in it, even though it's it's really a little bit early to work it. But as far as we know, that's looking good, though, Con. Yeah. Yep. So you get the shape of it. What do you think, Mal? I think this is, this is hard. <laughs> this is hard work, yeah. But it's, it's fun. Okay, she obviously hadn't done enough of it. She <laughs> still thinks it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> or she's just being nice. <laughs> Man, your job sucks, but no, it's fun. <laughs> See how Jim's doing down here? He's gonna wanna check. I gotta grab my checkbook. Oh, there it is, okay. Whew. And the other project we did, let me show you that real quick before I go out and talk to Jim. He's out. He's still out cleaning up his truck anyway, so he's up on top of the thing. You probably can't see him. Over here, we had this corner of the barn, and just the rocks were caving in this way, pushing. So we just decided to pour a block of cement here. Um, I'm going to dial this up, make this top smooth. And then we're probably going to put like this stove in front of it. We'll make it a faux fireplace kind of thing, just the concrete thing. But the wall is all good here. The corner was kind of caving in a little bit and over here it's good so we're just locking it up with concrete and because i didn't want to unstack it and restack it with all the corner of this this was just my easy way out kind of using the bull float <sighs> try to push the heavier aggregates down and bring the cream to the top and it looks like it's working pretty good by golly another about 9 20 pours you'll have this you'll know what you're doing Yeah, it is overrated. Some people don't want me to know what I'm doing. He 
even makes a nice little crackly sound. What we need is for that door to drag that crowbar through it <laughs> with the wind. That would be hilarious. <laughs> uh, we got a little offbeat sense of humor, I think. <laughs> so it's April 28th and 40 degrees? 40 degrees, 20 mile an hour wind blowing all over. It is, beautiful day in Northeast PA. Oh. Case is falling down the hill with this with his cement mixer. He's having some troubles with it. Just make sure you take it down the driveway. You can't go on this, okay? Why not? Why not? <laughs> It'll be splendid many times. It'll sink to the bottom. It'll sink to the bottom. You don't even know how deep this is. We don't even know how deep it is. <laughs> Found Mark. He's doing artistry in the corner. <laughs> All I can do is make it as good as you can, you know. I guess I had to get rid of that. You know what I had to do with that? Pack it in holes. Cause I got some cracks and stuff. I could use that up even. You know what that means? We're gonna utilize that entire truck. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. You know how happy that makes me. Seeing how cheap I am and all. <laughs> you know what I think I'll do? We'll get that flat, Mark. I'll throw a nice flat piece of stone on there. You know, somebody cut a piece of stone and throw on top. That'll look good. Or if you really hate it. Blast it out. Build a wall here. Build a wall here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's not a horrible idea either because that would look good with that little corner fireplacey thing there. Yeah. I, mean, I think I'm going to get the rest of that mud and start tucking it. Yeah, I got places I can tuck that right here. Yep. I'm going to start tucking these holes in with some of that extra concrete. Well, we just broomed it. But before we broomed it, there's hay in it because a dirt devil, I don't know what you call it now, a hay devil, a little tornado came through and whipped up our mulch hay for seeding down new grass seeds. It whipped it up, threw it around, spun it, and dropped it right in our concrete. Connor was very unhappy, weren't you, Connor? I think all in all, it's gonna look pretty good. Over here, it's about perfect. Yeah. Yeah, yeah where the sun is, it's perfect just, uh, now. You hit a little bit of water. Just keep you from yeah. from sticking but over here where the sun's not hitting it's uh, like it was poured two minutes ago so it seems a little early for brew but well, I don't know what other choice we have we got to optimize both sides I guess Gosh, everything, the wind today is incredible I don't have to see the trees wiggling I mean it's just blowing like mad all day from every direction too huh Con? Look, it even stuck a piece of straw over here in our door. That's weird. <laughs> wow. All right, I'm going to go down chewing up my other thing a little more. All right, so we got our little corner here, that little concrete block we poured in here. That's got hay all over it, too. The hay just keeps blowing in here. And I smoothed it out quite a bit, but I'm going to do a little more with the finish trowel. I don't have an actual finish trowel, so I'm going to use this this trowel. It's a tooth trowel on one side, but I'll just use this. Uh, so I'm just going to use the smooth side and just try to smooth it out a little more. I got to pick all the hay out first, though. This is can't use both sides of it. So you know what I'll do? I'll do this. And I'll go back the other way. I gotta wait for it to set up a little more too. It's really kind of wet. I think that might be it. Yeah, I'm real 
real sure that's going to be it. Good enough for a crappy tool. <laughs> yeah, this piece of junk. I think it looks okay. Ain't perfect, but it'll do. Well, that just about finishes that patio. Like, subscribe. Thanks, guys, for watching. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one.